Good morning everyone, this is Mark. And good morning, this is the next day after the challenge. And uh, also I had some difficulties. Um, my stomach made some problems right now. I need to drive back to Düsseldorf just to get the flight to Istanbul. So just stay with me. It will be a hard ride from now on. And I need to fight a little bit, but I will make it. So let's go get the car and then let's head over to Düsseldorf. And I'm here right now at the airport, uh, the four hours drive were manageable and my stomach also made no problems. Right now taking the flight to Istanbul, let's check in, I'm quite early and then let's see how the weather is over there. So one thing you can rely on that the security uh, customs will check me and uh, yeah, of course I don't have anything with me, I don't travel with a watch or yeah, they check me all the time. Since last year, every trip I made, I get checked. But it is not a problem and uh, we have now approximately one and a half hours left till the flight starts and then yeah I'm looking forward to eat some uh, delicious Turkish food. And here we are. Uh, it went pretty quick. I slept a few hours and uh, John Brock should be waiting outside so we arrived Jan is here hello and we are good to go for the next day so no now we're going to make party in Istanbul <laughs> yeah it will be very good and I don't have a watch anymore <laughs> <sighs> what a long day uh, finally I arrived at the hotel Tomorrow we will start early with some breakfast and then shoot the first video for Jan. Uh, we will do some kind of interview inside of a bus. He rented some taxi and uh, yeah, this is the plan for now. I'm now, let's see the room. Oh, so this will be the room for the next days. Really nice, huh? Not bad. And this is my bathroom. Everything quite new. In the whole hotel, I will show it tomorrow. They have this kind of wild looking shapes. Yeah. I'm going to bed right now. It was a long day from Stuttgart to Düsseldorf, from Düsseldorf to Istanbul. And uh, yeah, I'm just looking forward to stay in my own bed. The interview is done with Jan. And the next stop is the Grand Bazaar. Jan made an appointment with some fake watch dealers and he wants to bring me there so let's see what they currently have for sale and what you should not buy so wir sind im Laden angekommen ich glaube Masken können wir ausziehen ja. uh, wir gucken uns jetzt auf jeden Fall Rolex Uhren an ja gib ihm ich bin gespannt bist du gespannt ich bin, ja some retailer and he's selling let's say fake watches and right now we have uh, some Rolex models in front of us so let's take a look at them gib ihm so Marc, wo fangen wir an? Was sehen wir? Okay. <laughs> so, we are done with the video right now. If you want to see the full review of the fake watches, you need to go on his channel. Uh, link is in the description. And right now we are just heading over to the center of the city, maybe for some shopping or so. But I need to clarify one thing, okay? I don't can recommend to buy any of this kind of stuff, you know? I just sell real watches, so it's nice to see this hidden doors and uh, hidden rooms but uh, you know don't do something like this this makes no sense okay to spend the money we are now at the place called Arabian Wood and everyone who is following me knows that I'm really into fragrances and I have to say nice bottle reminds me of Invictus but let's now test some fragrance I don't know the brand <laughs> Yes. We just found some lovely fragrance, but it's always very important also to keep for you in mind You know, I always buy below 300 euro stuff if you enter Germany again You need to pay taxes and you need to check for the maximum and I just buy below 300 euro so yeah, In case someone stops me, I don't get a problem. This place you must visit if you want to go for shopping uh, Here you have almost every brand and it's very luxurious also Rolex is over here um, yeah we will just go inside walk a little bit around and then let's see and besides uh, Orazio Luciano of course you need to name Keaton this one is the most expensive 
brand there is for suits and everything. I don't say that Oatsu is better or uh, Keaton is better, but this brand you need to check. They have uh, great outerwear, you can buy jeans from them and the quality of pocket squares and ties is just exceptional. And yeah, let's see, maybe they have something. And this is the mall across the store we have just been. And here you can find literally everything. Very nice mall. If you are going for shopping, just come here. And this will be the last stop for this day. Um, we will just eat something real quick and then I need to upload some things also in the hotel. And uh, first of all, we're looking forward now for the food. It's the first time for me here. Tada! So we have now the departure day and um, it's 6.50 in the morning. I'm now ready to check out and then heading over to the airport. It was a wonderful trip. The weather outside is okay. So let us get the taxi right now and then to the airport and back to Germany. And right now I'm arrived at the airport. It's not chaotic at all. Easy to travel. Uh, just you need to hold the distance and um, Yeah, right now I'm heading to the airport and then I'm looking forward for the custom control like always and yeah This is the plan for now the rest of the day I have I think only two appointments. I have to pick up one watch. I need to wait for the security I'm just waiting For the plane to take off. It will be in one hour. I just stayed uh, less than 72 hours in Turkey. Nevertheless, the border control said to me that I need to make a test. And that's why I'm heading over to the doctor, also the hotline. Uh, it is at the city council said the same to me. I need to write them an email with the test result. That's why I'm heading over to Dr. Zahin. And then, uh, yeah, let's see. Overall, I have to say that uh, the past few weeks were pretty exhausting and I just cannot wait to get home. <laughs> this is the next morning. I have very good news. Uh, the test result came back and it is negative. So what you need to do if you are traveling, the 72 hour rule is gone. So if you are stayed less than 72 hours, maybe in Turkey, you don't need to do a test. This is, this is not existing since the 20th anymore. Uh, right now you need to do a test. You need to inform the city and you also need to carry the test result with you all the time. Otherwise you need to go in quarantine. So good news for me. I can do all the appointments and this is the end of this vlog. So I hope you enjoyed that trip. It was awesome week and I see you guys next.